everyone, Brendan Zabella Live here, and today I'll be bringing to you guys how I download uh, the Vessel Engine for the Battle Spirits trading card game online. So, if you guys head on to my channel here, in the description we have the Download Vessel Engine link and the Google Drive links that you'll need, so we'll just click on both of them. Click on both of them here. Okay, so. To download Vassal, you choose your version between Windows and Mac OS. In my case, I am Windows 62, 64 bit, so I'll run the installer here. So while that is being uh, downloaded, you can head over to uh, the Google Drive and uh, download download all of the extensions and the module itself in here as such. So when it's done, you open the Vassal uh, launcher and it will show you the welcome to Vassal setup. So you go to next, pick standard because you do not want to pick custom. So you pick standard and then the installer is ready to install. You click the install button and it will send it into your uh, computer or laptop, whichever you're using. So when that is done, you can go to next and finish the setup and it will load up here. I already have the Vassal uh, engine installed. So as you can see here is the Battlespace TCG online module right here. So it's updated. So how do you add this is you go to file, open module, you will see the Battle Spirits Online 2021. Uh, remember to group all your, all of your extensions and modules in one file first. Like I have a separate file in Vassal, so if I were to click back here, it's in my external hard drive for me. So it's here, inside here, it's, it's all in here. And uh, try to keep everything in here, so it's easier as well. So you click on the Battle Spirits Online 2021, you open it, and it will show as such. However, when you open up the mod, uh, the different extensions inside, it will be empty. So how do you add the extensions inside? So you click on the module, right click it, you go to um, add, uh, add, add extension. So if here, you should have your extensions uh, preferably all in one place. Once, uh, you have to add them one by one. So we have, I think 12 files here, yes. 12 different files, add all of these, and as the and as more sets come in, all you have to do is just replace uh, the the most latest um, extension with the latest update extension. Because usually um, the newer cards will come in sets of eras. So as we here we are in the crew remove era, so I have all of these installed. So you just slowly open them one by one. And after that, to open the module, you can just like double click it. If you haven't download, if you haven't added all of the extensions, you will notice that the launcher doesn't come out immediately. They will load all the cards one by one. Uh, it will be quite a long process, so you can you know grab your popcorn <laughs> and do other stuff while that is loading. After all of the stuff is loaded, you will see this other launcher here. It says it has start a new game offline or look for a game online. Or load a safe game. So, at the same time, I'll teach you guys how to navigate through the uh, Vessel Battle Spirits Online Table Simulator. So, you go click for look for a uh, game online, click finish, and then from there it will bring you to the main lobby. Um, one thing to check when you get when you just loaded up everything, do check that your library has everything until True Rebirth Era. So that means you you have all the updates installed. Let me see if I can bring the page down here. Okay, so see for me, I have the first Booster Saga, Constellation Saga, Hero Saga, Sword Blade, Ultimate, Burning Legend, God King, Advent, God Advent, Ultra Advent, Rebirth, and True Rebirth. So this, for now, at the timing of this video's release, you should have everything until True Rebirth Saga. And do check that you have the latest set. Currently, the latest set is BS57, Never Ending Story. And we also have the BSC, BSC and collaboration sets all in the same tab. So, for you guys who have been playing the game for a while, this is how to 
uh, navigate your way through Vassal and start making your deck. So uh, go to the active games. Uh, in the new game, there's a something you type in here. So here you can click. I don't know. You can name your room however you want, and it will make a room with you in it. So to make a table, quote unquote, make a table. You go to file, go to new game, arena field or area field, whichever. I just prefer to use the gate open classic because it's the most standard looking one. So yeah, the field will turn out like this. So this is how a, a, a room will, you, will look like if you picked this specific field. Normally it will just have um, everything out of the way, all the cores out of the way and everything. So with that, so your deck box is how, okay sorry not your deck box. So first thing, if you want to build a deck, you open up the library and the deck editor, they're side by side, right here, the top left. So how do you add cards into your deck? You just drag them over and it will be reflected here. So before, uh, uh, sorry, so how to copy cards? You click alternate C, it will be your control C in the deck editor. So as you can see, I duplicated my extra dragon here, my best boy. So how to delete? Uh, Right click and delete. If you have, if you want to right click and delete multiple cards, you just highlight over them. So let's say if I have like a bunch of other stuff that I don't like, or I want to delete them all at once, you just uh, click and drag, highlight everything, right click, delete. It should delete everything that you selected. So let's say we have a deck done. Let me just, you know, add some cards. Let's say, let's say I I, I decided to be a meme and I just wanted to play like let's say let's say deck is full so what you want to do is you highlight your entire deck so preferably all over these boxes right click and you see a send to deck option so it will send it all to this top box here and you have the draw specific card save or load save is to save the deck so you can name your deck and save it as you can see i have a lot of other decks that are in here you just type the name save it it will save the deck as it is to load a deck is the same thing, right click on the top part of the deck editor and choose the deck you want, load it and then you'll be able to drag the cards out into your deck editor to change your deck. Usually I'll just make a whole deck all together because dragging out 40 cards is a problem. So for those avid builders who love to build their decks and you kind of don't want to go through the process of you know clearing out the cards, bringing out all the cards just to delete them, what I usually do is that I have a blank deck file that opens up. So how do you get this blank deck file is this blank deck file as there's nothing inside. Before you start building your decks, you save it as an empty deck file. So in this case, I just named it E because it's easier for me. So every time you finish building a deck, you can load up the empty deck and it will just, you know, quote unquote, restart your deck editor so that you have a new slot that uh, a new deck slot that you can you know put all your cards into save into another deck and then delete that deck uh, delete that again to do it all over again yep so that's how you use the deck editor so moving on to the field so let's say let's say i want i'm, I'm about to play a game with a, with a friend so things you need to know this current game is the people who are inside this lobby and this is the log or chat, so you can see I can just type stuff inside here. Okay, and then with here we have our deck box. White de uh, de uh, de uh, de uh, on top here we have the clear. Clean it cleans up the field. So whenever you clean the field, make sure you drag out your soul core, not uh, when you pull it in. If I try to reset the core, oh wait, I can reset the core. Now? Oh, didn't know I could do that, but okay. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> Initially, back then, you couldn't like set the core with the soul core inside. So let me just try that again, just for ease of testing. Ah, you see, bad data and module. Core sent to location, region not found. So it, this is what would happen if you didn't take out your soul core. Yeah, usually you drag like one to two cores out, then you can be able to pull out your soul core. Here, I think should be, you know, just pull out the soul core and use everything. So yeah, make sure that your soul core is out of the game before you clear all the cards on the table. That means all your cards in your field, your hand, uh, and will go back into your deck. Whatever that's outside, like your burst zone, your trash, all needs to be uh, manually sent back to the deck 
or you just put them all on the field before you clear them. So how do you load a deck? So here you have deck box cause view deck view trash. So view deck is just a cards that have been I think revealed. But let's start with the deck boxes. So you load the deck box. This is I'm on the bottom side here. So if you're on top, you would use this tab instead. So this is the black deck box. I want to load a deck. Let's say I want to load. Uh, say I want to load like game shot. Okay. So you right click and send it to board. So you will send it to the, the table here, and you see there's the quantity of cards in your deck. So if I'm not mistaken, if you view your deck, you'll see your deck has probably this many cards. It will list like all the cards that you have inside this deck. If I am not mistaken. Yeah, it should be that way. Uh, yeah, so you have the names and everything. You can see your entire deck list, like what's left inside. So it's a bit of a cheat. I don't usually use this. But if you want to like, you know, keep track of what's left in your deck. For some other reason, uh, you can go ahead. So how do you send the cards back into your deck? You just send to the deck box. So it's just like it's just like keeping your deck in the deck box. It's wonderful. The cause here, you can choose the cause you want to use. Uh, because um, in this specific table, the cause are automatically set for you so that you don't have to go through the process of picking. But usually I would love to pick the red call and do it myself, you can just right click, send it to void, and it will all go here as such. Let's see, as you can see, all down here. So that's how you add the core, and then your trash. I think it's the same logic. If you have cards in your trash, it'll show you what you have in your trash in like picture form, so you know what's in there. Great, great stuff. Uh, and then you have your dice to see who wants to go for a second. As you can see, it's pretty randomized, although like my RNG usually is quite good, so we will hit the higher numbers. So the magnifying glass here, glasses here is to zoom into the field, zoom out to the field. And usually what I like to do is to fit height, right click, uh, click on this center one, go to fit height, and it'll fit your whole screen nicely like this. So yeah, that's how you navigate Vessel. However, for the new players that are new to Battle Spirits, now let me show you what is in the world of Battle Spirits. So let's, let's load the deck. I think this should be... Uh... Actually no, let's not load the deck, let's load a few cards first. Um, I'll, since the zones are here, I might as well tell you. So, we shall start off with the zones. So you have your deck. Your deck needs to be a minimum of 40 cards, there's no maximum. Your trash is where your card goes if your cards get destroyed or discarded from your deck or anywhere else. Your trash core is where all your core goes to after being paid for. So you pay costs for your cards, they go to the trash. Every turn, they will come back. Your burst zone. Is where you set your burst. Uh, for some players who play Yu-Gi-Oh, this is where you set your trap cards, quote unquote trap cards. Uh, they will have a specific symbol, I'll explain them later. Beside here, usually for us players who play on Vassal often, we'll use this as the zone that is on top. Not say zone on top of the burst zone, but it's technically supposed to be burst area now. This is a this is a quote unquote fan-made uh, simulator, that's why this hasn't been fully updated yet, but it's okay. We just need to understand that the burst zone is not part of the field anymore, it's called the burst area. And then the mirage area is the area that's supposed to be stacked on top of the burst area in real life, but it's confusing when you play online because you can't tell whether the cards are stacked, so we have them separated here. You have your count, so this is where your counters, your count will go, increase or decrease, uh, adding call from void to your count area whenever you have your double-sided cards. I will explain later. You have your banish zone, where cards are being banished out of game. Take this as your, you know, like actually out of game, you usually can't get stuff from here back. And your remove zone is basically your open hand zone, where certain cards will have effects that will interact with this zone and uh, either give you extra value or have stuff really. And that is it on how to navigate Vassal and start your Battle Spirits journey. If you like what you see, do slam that like and subscribe button and ring a ding that bell so you can receive the latest notifications whenever I stream or whenever new videos like this come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!